today we will solve the problem 4.6 of Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics the problem 4.6 is a perfect dipole p is situated at a distance z above an infinite ground grounded conducting plane as shown in figure the dipole makes an angle theta with uh, the perpendicular uh, to the plane find the torque on p if dipole is free to rotate in what orientation will it uh, come to rest so these are the question asked uh, so first i will explain the uh, problem you have a, a dipole uh, which makes an angle theta at a distance z from the grounded uh, conducting plane. Remember that it is grounded uh, conducting plane. That means here you will have a uh, equipotential. So uh, naturally this type of problem you can solve only by using image uh, charge method. So uh, image charge method, let us take uh, uh, the opposite dipole in the uh, negative uh, z direction. So, uh, this uh, distance is exa exactly at uh, x, so uh, sorry z, because we are taking along z direction. Uh, this distance is z. And this dipole, let us say this arrow indicate plus it is head minus. Here it is plus and this is minus. So, now uh, there are two uh, dipole. This is image image of this dipole. So uh, separated by a distance to z. Now we will uh, come to the problem. Uh, that is uh, in previous two problem we have seen that is 4.4 and 4.5. Uh, the electric field due to dipole, uh, which is a function of r and theta is equal to p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube to uh, cos theta r cat plus uh, sin theta theta cat. Now this uh, dipole is, uh, 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 dipole vector is represented uh, is by the dipole moment uh, multiplied by cos theta r cat because it involves r uh, and theta plus uh, sin theta theta. Uh, now, the n uh, is equal to, that is torque is equal to P uh, taken the cross product with the E, P with the cross product of E. Here you know P is equal to P uh, cos theta R cat and plus sin theta uh, theta cat. Then uh, what about E? E is equal to P. Already there is one P. This will become P squared. Uh, over uh, 4 uh, pi epsilon naught to z cube because this uh, distance is distance between these two dipole that is dipole and image uh, image of the dipole that uh, distance is 2 z so i am using uh, 2 z cube and uh, this p uh, uh, here you have uh, 2 cos theta r cat plus sin theta r cat so that cross product uh, uh, p cross e so this is the plus to e uh, now you can take the uh, product here you can see here is angle theta because it is image dipole now uh, we can uh, see that it, you can multiply this and this first term of this bracket and first term. This is cross product. So R cross R naturally you know it is zero. R cross R is equal to zero. Similarly, uh, then uh, first term and uh, second term that is sine theta uh, theta cat. So that uh, uh, R cross theta, you know this R cross theta is equal to uh, pi cat that is r cat uh, cross theta cat is equal to pi cat because all three are perpendicular to each other similarly you take second term 
sin theta theta cat here you have uh, 2 sin theta uh, r cat so here uh, theta cat comes first uh, theta cat uh, class r cat which is uh, nothing but uh, minus uh, which is equal to minus uh, pi cat so we will uh, try to simplify this uh, here uh, as usual this uh, theta uh, cat class theta cat is equal to zero here also r cat class r cat is zero then we will simplify this uh, further now uh, we got this expression uh, n equal to that is torque is equal to p square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 z whole power 3 uh, cos theta sin theta uh, pi cat plus 2 cos theta sin theta minus pi cat remember that here is negative sign so if you subtract this from this uh, you will get uh, cos theta sin theta pi cat minus of course minus pi cat uh, so, uh, you know, cos theta sin theta is equal to, this will become, I will use a different color, this will be equal to half sin 2 theta. So, I have replaced that here, half 1 over 2 sin 2 theta. So, P squared, torque is equal to 1 over 2 P squared sin uh, 2 theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught to 2 z cube minus pi cat. That is, it is out of page. Uh, for uh, theta equal to this theta, theta 0 means, uh, the, uh, here again I will use different color. Theta 0 means this angle. So, this angle is 0. So, if you tilt uh, this uh, pi by 2, up to uh, pi by 2, 90 degree. 0 to pi by uh, 2, uh, that is uh, this angle 0, 0 to pi by 2, it is counterclockwise uh, direction. Sorry, I will take this like, I will take uh, example like this. So, this is uh, counterclockwise uh, direction uh, for 0 uh, to theta, uh, that is theta is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2, n tends to rotate p counterclockwise direction. And between uh, pi by 2 uh, and pi, n tends to rotate the p clockwise direction. Then when it will be uh, stable, it is stable uh, when it is per uh, perpendicular to uh, the surface. So, the, here is the surface. When it is perpendicular to the surface, it is uh, stable. Whether it is upwards or downwards. Uh, the surface, and, uh, you remember that the surface is, uh, they mean this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, uh, this grounded plate. So, perpendicular to this surface. Maybe upward or downward. If uh, momentum is uh, up or down, uh, the, that must be perpendicular to this plane, then it will be more stable. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.